In this video, I want to show you how to use the new map feature in Microsoft Excel. Now, uh, I'm using Excel 2016 in this video, which also comes with Office 365. Now, you want to have data that reflects some kind of uh, geographic data. So, in other words, in this case, it's by country. Maybe your data is by state or by city or by county. All right, so you want your data has to reflect some kind of geography here. So, notice how each expense has a different country. Now, first thing I'll do is I'll make a subtotal by country. There's numerous ways I can do that, but we'll use a classic pivot table. So I'll pick on the insert menu up top, insert, and we'll pick on pivot table. And I'll pick on OK. Now I have many other videos on pivot tables. So I'm just doing this to get the summary of the data by country. And uh, now I'll pick up country and move it down to the rows. And I'll pick up the US dollar amount and drag it into the values. And now you can see I have a summary by a country. Now, the map itself does not work with pivot table data. So I'm going to copy this data to another sheet. Uh, first of all, let me go ahead and um, let's do something to the pivot table so it'll show the, the field name. So I'll pick on report layout and show in tabular form. Good. So now I'm going to highlight this information and I'll do a copy. We'll bring it to a different sheet <clears throat> and I'll just right click on that cell and do a paste special with the values only. So I just want the data. Good. Now I have a summary for each country and I can change that to the word sum. Okay. Now we can make a map from this data. So in this case, I'm going to pick one of these cells. Uh, I'll actually I'll highlight the entire range of data. And we'll pick on the insert menu. And notice now there's a new feature in Excel. I believe it started in Excel 2013, but it's possible it's only available in Excel 2016. So I'm going to pick on maps right here. And I'll pick on the, this map right over here. And notice how it started to fill in the map. Now the, the country with the highest number is the darkest color. And then the country with the, you know, you can see as the countries go down. So if I move a mouse around a country that is, has some color to it, then you can see the country name and the value. Now, if you wanted to actually show those things, or I can click on that country to isolate it as well, as you can see. All right. Now, if I go ahead and um, I'm going to expand this map so it fills the screen. Good. Now, if you wanted to actually show the country name on each country, then we could do some things with the map itself, with the chart. So I'll pick on the design menu. By the way, look at some of these uh, chart styles. That really highlights them very nicely, as you can see. Now in this case, uh, you can even change the color scheme, whichever that you like over there. All right, you see how it's just changed colors. Now let's try some of the quick layouts. As I move my mouse across these, you can see minor changes there. In this case, it actually is showing the number for each different country. Now, if I want, uh, that's called a data label. So I'm going to pick on uh, add chart element, data label, and more data label options. And this extra window will show up on the other side. Uh, so in this case, if I pick on category name, then you can see the actual country for each, uh, the actual country name. I'll pick on the value there. And then the, the chart becomes more descriptive. Now, if I move my mouse to, let's say, uh, the United States, then I can click on the United States and just isolate that one part of the chart. So you can see we started off with the country data, and then we were able to make a chart from there. And it's fairly effective, as you can see. That's how you can start to make a chart using Microsoft Excel data.